Alrighty then, I guess we've got to go at this thing, so here we go. I think I'm recording. Yep. Alrighty then. Let's see what we're doing here. So you gotta get rid of the uh, fuel line, throttle cable, miscellaneous wires um, off the top side here, and then uh, four bolts underneath, and the heater tubes, and uh, put it on the floor. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, Maynard's battery is buried, so I'm not going to bother uh, disconnecting the battery. What I'm going to do is tape all the uh, connections here so they don't short on anything. Well, it appears it's about time for some new electrical tape, but I got a little bit here, so we'll see what we can do. That's the end of that roll. But I think it will do the job. Anyway, I have to dig through the pile, see if I got another head laying around, and uh, maybe we'll be all right. I don't think this one's going to take another fix. Actually, those can stay for now. We've got the uh, idle cutoff here, which is not energized unless the key's on. You've got your sending unit for your oil light. Of course, it's zip tied into place. There we go. Get that out of the way. Hot wire to the coil. Not energized. Okay. Those guys. The air cleaner ain't coming off yet, so I have to. Keep the air cleaner out of the way. And that is a flat. Create a parts pile somewhere. I 
points right there. Wires up out of the way. Alrighty then. Wires are out of the way. Okay. A couple zip ties to deal with. Couple seventeen Using a little uh, metal punch here. I usually use a uh, fuel pump rod. They work real well, but being as I can't find my fuel pump rods, and I want to get this thing out of here, I'm going to just use this, pull it off, get the clampy off, throw the thing in there. That allows it to slide through the hole in the uh, back plate on the uh, engine doesn't obstruct anything and as I recall I probably have a hose clamp no it's a zip tie keeping that from sliding back and forth so I gotta get that out of here I always put a piece of tin around my fuel line where it goes through there and then I zip tie it in place Go. That's that. Another zip tie here. Alrighty then, there's that. So, everything there is done. I'll get the uh, top bolt. You gotta reach here. The other end of this one is a uh, kind of a half moon shape that fits up against the uh, starter and keeps it from turning on the other side. So it's just a nut on this side. The one on the top on the other side is a uh, insert in the case. It's threaded so you get it from below up behind the clutch cable. Uh, it works pretty well with the socket and a fairly long extension. Generally once you get started they're more or less finger tight. This one may get in fits however. Feels like it might be coming off of there. Got a ways to go. Anyway, alright now I gotta climb underneath this bad boy. Uh, to show that God does uh, what I wanted to do on the holiday weekend, old Maynard, son's a bitch. Oh, I need a socket, an extension, and a ratchet. All right, uh, I'll go for that one first, eh? Maynard's getting tired anyway. Tired of being abused. Well, yeah. I'm tired of being abused. <laughs> it's just how we roll, right? It's just how we roll. Run them till they break and then fix them. Okay, got the throttle or the fuel line out of there. 
Oh, I forgot. I got heater uh, cables on this, too. Yep, got that one. I better get my my heater cables before I forget. Okay, there's those. Now, if I get the other two 17s. I'll go ahead and throw this thing on the floor and decide if that's what we're going to do. Poor old Maynard. Now, heater tube and another heater tube. All righty then. All righty, now go ahead and yard Maynard's engine out. I don't think I forgot anything. I guess we'll find out when it won't come. That's kind of how it is. I wonder if I'm tall enough here to do this thing. Do this thing. Yeah, I have to build another engine. That's all there is to it. This guy is just tired. I could probably uh, throw a head on it, stick it back in, and run it another 50,000. <laughs> but. Give it up. Give it up. Uh, what do we got? The wires out of the way. Rocking in and rolling. Breathing in and popping. Come out now. Go the bastard on the floor. And then look at it and decide what to do. <laughs> Uh, I may have to take my uh, generator bolt loose. I don't know yet. Maybe not. Let's get it down there and turn it just a scotch. There we go. Alrighty. Engine's got the down and out. I just got to throw it on the floor and slide it out of there. A little list of port there. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, then. Maynard's engine's on the floor. Rolling around like a. Well, anyway, there you go. Uh, engine on the floor. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. But first thing I'm gonna do is uh, clean these up a bit.